Hello YouTube and welcome back to Delershalid, Steel Clutches, the Bloody Fortress of Conquerors. And you can see we are flowing right along. All these dwarves now are running and grabbing doors and beds. I'm gonna finish up this uh, whole living area situation. I've now, in this episode, I believe we have some things that we really have to get squared away. Like those tunnels that we have not touched since... Well, I guess we touched them last episode. Well, we really just have to finish up these tunnels. We can't just leave them sitting like this. Also, we really need a trade depot. Maybe a couple trade depots even. You know, just in case one gets destroyed by ogres or something like that. Also, I'd like to build a bridge over the river here. You know, if migrants came on the other side of the river which they haven't yet but you know it's it's probably best if we just did that i want to build a bridge get off my back also we're gonna need a nice butcher area i know i had discussed that last time and i still don't really know how we're going to accomplish that but we'll come up with something i'm gonna have to keep milling that over oh shit whoa 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 zuglar's corpse why are we interrupted by a corpse what the fuck oh he's caged okay someone was just disturbed by seeing the caged dwarf i guess okay well that, that scared the shit out of me he's safe he's in a cage don't worry about it <laughs> still, still a little jumpy okay rightfully so i would say okay so yeah a butcher area and we're also going to need a memorial hall i mean we discovered last episode that we don't necessarily have to memorialize every single dwarf that dies because having their zombie caged up is good enough apparently but i assume some dwarves will just be in pieces at points or just be disintegrated altogether certainly after we come up with some way to deal with the zombies we're going to need some way to memorialize all those carcasses we're gonna need a bunch of offices we still have to get all those positions in the fortress squared away and the mayor has been bitching about his quarters so we're gonna have to come up with something for that we have a lot to do this episode got all kinds of building projects we got to get done see on the map right now we got a bunch of storks so i'm not gonna touch the tunnels quite yet we'll just stay safely in our fortress oh another thing i wanted to do is build some temples in these areas here these six little rooms in the middle should each have a temple in there devoted to a specific dwarven god just to make sure everyone's nice and happy with that and i should also mention that the goal of this fortress from this point forward is to build Build. We're just gonna keep building. I'm gonna get crazy with the building stuff. Just think of this whole fortress here as a starter fortress. This is just the one to get us started. And after we get it all situated, we get all our dwarves here. I'm gonna build a second fortress further down in the ground. Just like, you know, in Lord of the Rings when you see those crazy cave dwarf fortresses with the bridges and all kinds of garbage going on down there. That's what I want. I don't want one of these little shallow places. I want big vaulted ceilings built into the earth. And that's what we're going for. And hopefully, that's what we'll get. Okay, then. Let's see. Where to start today? How about a memorial hall? We should just get that out of the way. Where to put this? I had also read that zombies will just come back and then jump out of coffins. So coffins are going to be just goddamn impossible to even accomplish. Maybe we'll make a memorial hall kind of encircling this top layer of reservoirs. I don't think that'll screw with our plans too much in the future. There we are, just like that. We'll arrange the slabs up against the sides of this long, long hallway just leading around this entire area here. Should be big enough for our current needs. I have a feeling if this many dwarves die, then we'll have bigger problems to deal with. Let's look at a bunch of damn storks in the map. Autumn is here. Man, I really want to get these trade depots up and running. How to do that, though? I think we'll have to link a trade depot to maybe each of these tunnels here. Just up top, right outside. Also get that walled in and stuff. See, the big problem comes when they get attacked by undead. And I'm sure the guards that they come with will easily be able to handle anything that, that shows up to attack them. But they'll also make a goddamn mess. And there's going to be carcasses all over the place. And as we saw with that duck before, they aren't exactly too stoked to get the hell out of there most of the time. If there is a mess that pops up like that, I wouldn't want it anywhere near my main place here. So that's why I was thinking having it near these tunnels. Now, admittedly, that sounds like a pretty awful idea be perfectly honest maybe that's how we roll we just have to be okay with it maybe we'll just make it have its own little garage over on the side here and we will build it out of ah oh, what the hell we'll do stone it's gonna take a little bit longer but god damn it we're dwarves that's what we do see everyone is going right now everyone is heading out of the fort Let's see where these storks these storks are virtually right on top of where all my dwarves are gonna be coming out sorry guys sorry 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 i know false alarm false alarm maybe we'll work over here okay let's do that BD, I'm also going to make that depot. Just like this. Uh oh, what's this? Ah, goddamn caravan has arrived. Well, maybe next year. Sorry, fellas. Oh, look, a new outpost liaison. Fantastic. This thing's coming together pretty quick, right? Already have a door up, almost all the walls. 
Wood stockpile's getting pretty darn full. That's good. Our memorial hall's all dug out now. I'm gonna have somebody go and start smoothing that. All right, this tunnel is just about complete. Well, the, the walls anyways. Still gotta finish up that ceiling. Haven't even touched the ceiling yet. There's where our depot's gonna be right next to that tunnel. It's the configuration I think I'm gonna be going with for all of these depots that I'm planning. Got a ton of food right now. Okay, I'm out of drinks, but that wouldn't be a problem. Most of our food is in the form of plants, which can easily be brewed. Maybe I'll build some cage traps up here too, just in case any feisty zombies try to get any ideas. In that last fortress, I remember the merchant guards there killed a bunch of animals and the pieces were just kind of milling about in that general area. So I'll just set up some traps like this and hopefully they'll snag any zombies that come nearby. You can see that a few of my dwarves are still getting sickened by the sunlight and vomiting all over the goddamn place. Wow, look at that field, huh? Almost entirely planted. Maybe I will set these other ones to growing as well. Why is that goddamn pig wandering around? I don't want him dicking around too much. All right, um, pig, for the time being, we're going to throw you in this room right here. Piglet, you'll be in here. Looking pretty good. Nice and up this tunnel a little bit. Oh my god, we have no nice left. How the hell is that? We're going to have to start up a mine, I believe, because we need that nice. Oh, this dwarf go insane? Yeah, he's insane. Kind of babbling, sitting in his little work chamber there. I'll die soon enough, I suppose. I can't believe we ran out of nice. That sucks. What do we have in the map? Oh, we got some Kia corpses now. They are in the bottom left. Okay, so they're still far away. Kia corpses get around pretty quick. That is a tad worrisome, although we don't have much farther to go. Hopefully with this whole thing over here. We saw in that last fortress that it doesn't matter how much you beat up one of those. Oh shit. Okay, so there's Kia corpses attacking. I'm not too worried that this guy's gonna die. There's three dwarves up on the roof. There are four dwarves outside right now. Maybe. Okay, I think I'm just going to unlock this door here out front. And hopefully they'll go over there and run back into, uh, into the house. Oh shit. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. God damn it. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Oh shit, they're just they're beating up this guy over here. This guy over here in this depot. Oh man, they got him on the ground. Oh shit. Bruised. Just badly, badly bruised in multiple areas right now. Okay, keep going, bud. Keep going. You gotta get in the house. Bruised, bruised, bruised. Her guts is bruised. First finger left hand is broken. They broke one of her fingers. What do you got? Oh, you got a husband in here. Two young daughters. Come on, chick. Let's get up. What is that? Yeah, they knocked out one of her teeth. I, I can't imagine she's gonna get up and just nicely run over into the fort now and she seemingly can't do very much she's probably gonna die of thirst before anything else i could send out some dwarves and try to save her first we need a military squad uniforms metal armor i'm gonna call this um the uh clutcher this is gonna be our typical zombie smasher setup here metal armor headwear legwear blah blah blah, blah. individual choice melee no going to go with more hammers. Of course, we don't have any right now, so it's not going to do us much good, but at least they'll go out there and uh, start beating away with their fists. And the group shall be called the First Conquerors. Who wants to be part of the First Conquerors? We'll send out anybody with a useless task, strand extractor, fish dissector, herbalist. Okay, you guys, you are the First Conquerors. Let's move out. Gonna move right there. Oh. Jesus, it looks like that one dwarf that was on the ground was part of that group who just jumped up and started beating the, the Kios to death. Killed one. What's going right, going on right now? I can't really tell what's going on. It's like they're beating some Kias to pieces. Okay, so the Kias are all dead. First Conquerors, you guys did a bang-up job out there. Go home. Get some rest. This one is just still laying on the floor. Probably just in agony. Missing some teeth now and laying in a pile of her own vomit. So got two Kias on the map, but it's only two Kias. I'm going to continue building this area. Well, let's see what what do we got for bodies here? This is a Kia Corpse Mangled Skeleton, Kia Corpse Left Lower Leg, Mangled Partial Skeleton, Kia Corpse Head. Okay, so that's gonna be a problem. Maybe I'll make a pile for, uh, I don't know what that's counted as. I think maybe corpses. And I'm gonna stick that over on the side here, right there. I'll set these orders. Gather refuse from outside. I'm gonna increase this burrow just to include this here. Just like that. And hopefully someone will come outside, grab that carcass or that head and just put it farther away so we can get this place finished. We appear to be grabbing some stuff. It looks like all those Kia pieces are now sitting in this pile. Oh, a couple dwarves just beat the shit out of this Kia here, which is now dead on the ground. Kia corpse mangled skeleton. Okay, let's just leave this brewer and her baby laying on the ground. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna get this pile gotten rid of. We don't need that anymore. Now that everything's over there, 
At least it's far away. And let's continue building this place. Kakapo Corpse right nearby kind of waddling down this way uh, if you don't know what a kakapo is i would look into it they're actually fairly interesting this one however is a reanimated corpse and is probably hungry for dwarven blood which you know it's interesting in its own way uh oh taken by mood we got another strange mood occurring keep an eye on this kakapo okay so somebody just killed the kakapo they just walked up and they beat the thing and it died got some migrants here okay somebody has killed an owl we have some more ravens we are up to 65 dwarves. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna have to get this all sorted away. Give me a second. Fish cleaner. Trader. Bone doctor. Craft dwarf. Herbalist. Mechanic. Sniper here. Watch it. Up to 70 dwarves, 70 dwarves, and looks to have been it. Well, it looks like most of these birds are actually really easy to kill for the most part. There was some trouble back when that one dwarf was cornered by, what, five of those Kia. Just gonna have to keep our eyes out for any flocks of animals or emus, I suppose. I'd have to imagine emu could uh, screw up a dwarf right proper. Well, that's exciting. We have our trade depot up and going. Uh, I'm gonna have somebody start making charcoal. I'm not too keen on getting down to lava in a hurry, so probably best to start doing that. We don't have an anvil yet, which kind of sucks. Ah, looks like something came back to life over here. A Kia head. Okay, there is a Kia head rolling around on the ground over yon. Let's hope it doesn't cause any trouble. All right, gang, looks like we're gonna need some more nice. I guess I'm gonna start up an area specifically designed to be a mine, because we can't be without our nice gray stone. We'll make a little tunnel off to the side right here, and this will be down, just like that. We appear to be coming to the end of this deluxe tunnel just coated with vomit now. Oh, looks like that one dwarf did die and is now locked up in a trap. Oh, right. I forgot about that one guy that went and tried to claim workshop. Okay. Sketches, a quarry, rough gems, stacked leather. Get out the traps. Well, that sucks. There's no way for us to get leather except by trading. So I'm glad we have this depot down. We're going to have to really start stockpiling some of these things that we have no access to currently in our fort. All right, we really have to get a spot for some offices. Maybe we'll make some nice little offices just off the side of this uh, eating area up here. Not really much else going on up here. We'll make a nice spacious little offices. No reason to be too chintzy. There we are. Just some nice spacious offices. Little nooks in there. I'm going to put some extra stuff in there too. Because as we've learned, it can't just be a big old square. That's boring. I guess we could start digging down this mine, too. Gonna need a lot more stone before this episode's through. Just that far for now. Just so we could see what kind of stone exactly lies underneath. Don't want to make it too deep, because we're gonna have to haul out all that stone back up. Okay, this tunnel is completely finished now. We have our nice roof, our little depot off to the side, some stone doors, and... What kind of stone is this? And diorite. Okay, diorite's pretty cool. Maybe we'll start mining here. There we have it, our nice mine. Kia head is fighting. Attacks the kitten. Okay, this is why we don't want animals running around. They get attacked by Kia heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's supposed to be seven animals in here right now, yet there are only four. No one appears to be dragging any other animals there. Perhaps the other animals are outside of the fortress at the moment. If that's the case, then it shouldn't be any problem if I just uh, potterize these ones RQ like. Chukunk. I don't know why we're not putting cages in these last two cage traps. Maybe these ones are just... Oh, these ones I bet are just soaked in vomit. Okay, that's why they're that color green. Okay, I'm going to shut off this burrow here. And now that we have some more stone, we can get started on another tunnel. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should unforbid that whole uh, dump area here. We've been throwing all kinds of goddamn stone here straight from the beginning. I will reclaim all this stone. Let's see how much stone we have now. We have 97 nice now. Okay, so we had uh, more than enough stone in that little dump pile that I had made long, long ago. I think we're going to head up this tunnel over here and start to work it again. And before we can go working in that tunnel up top in the bottom left there, we really have to nicen up these dirty old walls. Can't be traversing dirt tunnels. We're not moles, for God's sake. What's up? What just happened? Mechanic has gone berserk. Are these doors locked? Oh, no, they are not. Jesus Christ. But you just chill out in there, buddy, and eventually you'll die and get stuck in a cage. You know how it goes. Don't get any crazy ideas if you're not sure you have everything you need. Our mind's looking pretty darn dandy at the moment. Maybe I'll keep on going up top here. Right, I had completely forgotten about these offices. Okay, so the offices, we'll get those smoothed out promptly. And in the meantime, we'll start making up some stuff for them. Alright, looks like that berserk dwarf is in a cage. So we can unlock these doors and get back to work. Okay, looks like our offices are nice and smooth. 
table, some chairs. Okay, let's see, our dirt tunnel is completely walled up. Fantastic. Tunnel two, get a move on here. Come on, fellas, just don't get too crazy. It has begun snowing. Well, isn't that nice? Well, I guess as long as it's ravens and stuff, we don't really have to worry too, too much about it. I don't know how good of a mindset that is to have, honestly. Hmm. You know, I just came up with an idea. How about when the water is frozen like this, we build a little tunnel out and build an area right out in the middle of this water here with a safe roof, maybe some grates or something in there where my dwarves can go out and make it just like a little statue garden or something right at the base of this waterfall. A little preoccupied at the moment though, unfortunately. I'm sure everyone's gotta be sick of eating plump helmets by now. Yeah, we've really gotta get, uh, well, I, mean, <laughs> I was gonna say we need to get that depot down. I'm so used to saying it, but we, we have depots now. We're all set. So next time the uh, traders come around we can do something about it although we should probably actually produce something to trade oh shit also i forgot that your dwarves don't just drink out of the keg anymore i mean they can but they don't enjoy it anymore so we have to make something for them to drink out of how about these mugs and we'll make them out of orthoclase yeah sure what the hell make some orthoclase mugs one at a time that seems like a pain in the ass all right someone was just found dead i assume it was the berserk dwarf hmm that's interesting. Now, they have seen his his dead body. I guess that's who it was talking about, right? Oh shit, no, it's this guy. Who the fuck is this? Yo, um, who the fuck is this guy? Anyone? YouTube, how the fuck did this guy just die? Why why is the dead guy just laying in the hall here? Katen Logem Sarvesh. Well, this is the guy that was assaulted by all those goddamn Kias there. Vomit, 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 vomit. The strand extractor punches the milker. Strand extractor, eh? We are on the hunt. Let's find out who murdered this guy. This is, uh, it just says the strand extractor. Okay, let's see. What do we have for strand extractors in the fortress? I don't see any strand extractors here. I know I had seen one on the list before. That's no good. So, we will... Hopefully get that guy into a room, like right here, say, okay? I don't know whose bedroom that is. I'm also going to turn off gathering refuse from outside. This guy's carrying that carcass into that bedroom, dumped it. Now I'm gonna lock him in there. Sorry, dude, this room's gonna be a bit stinky. We're using it for corpse storage at the moment. So that body is locked in there at the moment. Should be no worries. I don't know what prompted, uh him being killed okay well that makes sense the mayor ordered him killed for violation of production orders oh my god that guy just reanimated too so yeah there's a zombie sitting in that room right now that is so freaking dangerous i mean if there was any slacking on that guy who hauled him in there then we'd be we would have a zombie running around right now i have to lock up that hall which i'm looking right now and i can see that one of the doors is jammed open by this boulder I still don't know who the strand extractor is. Okay, this area over here is coming along pretty quick. <sighs> I really wish the mayor did not want gauntlets made. That doesn't make any sense. And I'll bet that that strand extractor was actually the militia captain. So the mayor was like, yo, we didn't get those gauntlets made. Uh, you want to go down there and beat someone to death? Show thing, boss. We really got to get an anvil at some point. Now then, we got to set up some positions. A hammerer. Who wants to be a hammerer? How about, uh, how about Kivish? You want to be our hammerer? I know you'll be, you'll take it easy on some of these dwarfs, right? I mean, you're the one, you're basically the mother of the entire fortress. Everyone loves you. You won't have anyone beaten to death, right? A manager. Okay, so we really need a manager. That'd make things a lot easier. How about you, miner? Chief medical dwarf. Nobody has any relevant skills. Okay, how about you, bone doctor? Broker? That'll be you. Moral? Bookkeeper? That'll be you. Interrupted by Kia Head. Oh my god, how the hell did that Kia Head get over here? Is that the one from up here? That cannot be that one. You gotta be kidding me. That is a goddamn Kia Head from all the way up top here. Not that it's gonna ruin anything, but god's sake, that is so annoying. The Kia Head appears to be trying to escape. Why did it pause? I didn't pause it. Oh, someone someone gave birth to a boy. This is some, someone fighting the Kia head just gave birth. <laughs> just in the, the excitement, I guess. <laughs> Chasing around a parrot head rolling around on the ground. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Back to it. Yeah, it's the same goddamn shit again. Nobody is able to beat this stupid thing. Shattering, I mean, they're shattering the skull. The skull is pretty much just dust at this point. I'm gonna get rid of this entire burrow once more. And we shall run downstairs. There we go. How about you? Go downstairs. Is that a baby? Yo, baby, what the hell are you doing? Where's your mother? Oh, so your mother. Oh my god. Are you actually the one that was just given birth to? Crawling around out in the snow and vomit? Okay, he just went down to the fort. Thank god. 
Back to the fort. Where's that dumb head? Come on down. Come into the fort. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there are some traps down here. I'm hoping he'll get stuck in a trap. Yes! Okay, so he is trapped. No further worries about that. Although, now I have to redo the entire burrow. This dwarf zombie over here is still wandering around in this room. Oh boy, Planter has been taken by a mood. I'm sure this is gonna end well. As you look at my growing zombie stockpile. Oh god, interrupted by Saigon something or other's corpse. What does that mean? Why is there a body here? Whose body is this? Why is there even a body here? Oh, shit. Okay, what happened? <laughs> well, I don't know what we're going to do. Or where the hell this guy came from, for that matter. Anyone care to enlighten? Why is there a dead dwarf here? Let's see, Saigon the Mechanic. That appears to be the guy, the mechanic who went berserk at the beginning has been trapped in a cage for that whole time. Why is he out of a cage? That doesn't make any sense. I guess we can have our dwarves try, should we try to kill him or just, um, all right, I'm just gonna send some dwarves down. There's already a few dwarves in there that appear to be beating the shit out of him. Maybe we can go down there, kill him real quick, drag everyone out of there and lock it up. Beat him up, beat him up, keep beating him up. Did I get him? Okay, they appear to have killed that dwarf. Now then, okay, um, there's his mangled corpse. So he is, in fact, a mangled corpse right now. Well, that seems to have worked out pretty okay. I don't know how he got out of that cage, though. This guy here, I assume he was beaten to shit by that goddamn zombie. Left hand is smashed open, right hand is mangled beyond recognition. <laughs> Felt annoyed after suffering a minor injury. A minor injury? Uh, how did that guy get out of the goddamn cage? I would, I'd really love to know. His cheek is mangled beyond recognition. So we appear to be able to smash apart zombies pretty well, just unarmed even. And plus that mangles the body as well. I don't know how the hell that guy got out of the cage. He was different in that he was a berserk dwarf and not an actual zombie. I'm gonna have to make sure things turn into zombies, I guess, before we go putting their cages in the goddamn stockpile here. But yeah, I'm not, I guess, too worried about that mangled corpse at the moment. Let's get it packed safely away in this the crushing chamber over here, though. So to use this crushing chamber for that purpose, I would have to put a couple more doors in there. Sorry, dude, we're gonna have to knock this wall through here, just so we could drag dead bodies through and have them smashed in the adjoining room. An emu corpse? Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five emu corpses. Uh, a little bit bigger than the other monstrosities we've been facing. Fists ain't gonna cut it, I'm sure. There is one guy over here. I don't know what the hell he's got planned exactly. I would hope he's running for his life. Oh, no, he is. Very smart, too. Ran straight down into the fort. Oh, shit, there's another guy over here. Where did you, where'd you come from, idiot? All right, go ahead, get down there, get down there. Run, run, run. Okay, so he is down in the fort now. Run, run, run. Kicks the mechanic in the upper body, bruising the muscle. Kicks the mechanic, bruising the muscle. Kicks the mechanic, bruising the fat. Okay, well, that's not bad. All right, well, it looks like everybody got down underground safe. My god, this place is freaking hazardous, huh? The instant these emus lost sight of my dwarves, they just lost all interest. Yeah, I'm not complaining about that at all. Hmm, what's up with that? What is your problem, little dude? Oh, this planter with a strange mood, perhaps. Okay, I don't know how long you've had that for. <laughs> I haven't been watching. Metal Smith. Ew, that's not good. Hopefully I can get everyone else out of this room. I'm gonna set this entire room to restricted traffic and maybe that'll stop everyone from going through here. Um, looks like nobody gives a shit. I'll just start locking doors. I don't know why everyone is dying to be in this room. Here, how about I'll set this room as not being a burrow. Okay, so this entire meeting hall room is locked up. Cage traps are in place. And, uh, and yeah. That actually worked out really well. Those emus are still tooling around out there. Now, I realize I'm approaching the end of the time for this video, and it doesn't really seem like I have completed all those tasks I had outlined at the beginning. Uh, let's see, what else can I burn away real quick? Well, I can make some tables. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so six tables for the temples. We'll get those spread away real quick. Oh, shit, what is this? What? Why? 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 I thought I... Oh, my God. What is this guy doing? Mebzuth Zesuzol, the mechanic being chased around by undead emus. I have no burrows up here. Shouldn't we all be down in the fort by now? Guy, what is up, dude? Alright, th wasn't this guy getting kicked before? They don't seem to be injuring him too badly. Alright, buddy. Run, 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 run. Get home. Go ahead, bud. Get in our little dwarf house. Go Why are you going up on the roof, you loon? What What are you hoping to accomplish? Jesus, not to mention there is a 
A goose corpse right here, you freaking lunatic. Oh, God, help me. Oh, God, oh, Jesus Christ. I'll lock this door back up. Okay, so this one is locked up up here. Okay, so currently the only place open up is this main area here. Let's go in the house. There you go. He's kind of coming this way. Kind of. What are you doing, bud? Why are you? It's a goose, brother. It's a goose, my friend. All right, you're coming the right way. You're coming the right way. This way, bud. Into the fort. Thank you. He's in the fort. Okay, so he's in the fort as well as the goose. The goose is in the fort as well, which is not a great thing no other than that this way is blocked up down here up top is blocked up just to make sure we got all our geese in a row <laughs> lo, lo, it's funny and i'm so sorry i forgot we had those cage traps in place get rid of this burrow all the way over till here and hopefully that guy will come okay so he came through there and the goose got caught in a cage we no longer have any fear from the goose actually this guy might still be terrified what is this red exclamation mark uh he's lost in a rage or she she is lost in a rage i'm sorry miss what do we do with that dead body that body is over here we don't want that body here though okay so so somebody should be grabbing that carcass and depositing it in the crushing chamber any moment now what do we got for tables? Oh, I've got a whole bunch of tables now. Oh, I do have all the tables that we need, actually. So, for temples, we will put one of each of these right here. So, this is the direct center. This is where I'm going to put a table. Getting those temples squared away with some lovely nice tables. We should also probably make some statues. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that afterwards. I'm going to decide who those temples belong to exactly. Then I will put in statues specifically made to look like each respective deity. If I'm going to make these into temples, I will set them all as dining rooms, I believe. And then assign location. Add location. T, temple. Okay, so we have a whole slew of gods here. I suppose we should start with the gods who are more widely worshipped throughout the, the uh, fortress. Fifteen worshippers. Iklis to the dream of labyrinth. Kind of an odd god, just at dusk. That is the only thing in his portfolio. But I suppose this will be the temple to Iklist right here. Then over here, this will be a temple of... Dude, what the hell? So we got Nagalak. His only domain is the night. A bunch of my dwarves worship a god of dusk and a bunch of them worship a god of the night. Then down here in the middle, this is the first one that people will see when they enter our fortress. So maybe we'll have to pick something uh, a little bit more representative of our fortress feel overall. Maybe people come into my fortress and first see the temple of Tomud, god of strength. Another temple over here. Kick crossed cover gates. God of fortresses. Then down here we got two more. Beauty and art will be our next one. Or this one here, Avus the Sparks of Amber. His domains are jewels, earth, volcanoes, mountains, and caverns. It, you, I think it would behoove any dwarf to pay some homage to this guy here. That's like our meat and potatoes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make a temple to add this. One more temple, our last temple. Beauty and art. I, I really don't like that, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one little step to the side and uh, consult with our honorary expedition leader, Lorbam. Lorbam is Kivish's deity. deity. That is Lorbam, fame. The temple to Lorbam, the courageous convent. Oh, looks like our little nasty zombie dwarf got caught up in a cage finally, so I will unlock this door. And you know what? I put some thought into it, and I believe I know what happened with that dwarf who was stuck in a cage and then somehow got out. Berserk dwarf stuck in a cage, but he was just sitting in there, fine, right? Um, eventually he died, so he became an inoffensive corpse. And then I assume somebody took his cage and applied it to another cage trap that needed a new cage at which point the carcass was just laying on the floor then it probably reanimated i just didn't see the carcass laying on the floor at any point now then let's make up some nice statues lorbam what kind of stone should i use how about petrified wood i think that'd make a nice nice famous looking statue right ah here we are petrified wood statue of lorbam let's make up some more statues shall we so we have six statues being constructed each one in the likeness of one of our dwarven gods oh shit Oh, okay, this guy went insane down here. No problems, though. He just locked up in his meeting hall. I really want to get those stupid tunnels done. I don't even know why at this point, though. I mean, we've kind of been, like, uh, doing fine without the whole tunnel situation there, though. Would it be insane at this point to say I'm going to get these things done before the end of this video? Screw it, I'm going for it. Keep on working away, fellas. What is this? What is this little hunk of shit? A Kia beak. <laughs> Where should I put the statues for these? Should I put it behind the table? Behind the table might be nice, because, you know, it's kind of like looking forward. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Kind of like an altar in front of the statue. Uh-oh. Ghostly architect can be heard howling throughout the fortress. 
making sleep difficult. The spirit has not been properly memorialized. So this is gonna have to be our first slab, I guess. Ah, okay, so it looks like you do have to memorialize the dead dwarves. Well, I guess that's good. We can actually put our uh, memorial hall to use. Come on, guys, keep going. I've got faith in you. I have a whole bunch of dwarves praying to gods at this point. I suppose they probably get a good thought from that. She was enraptured after communing with Nagalak. Well, that sounds good. Maybe maybe that's a good thing then. Maybe they'll like move quickly or something like that. There's a lot of stink coming out of this room. That's the carcass there. Let's get that smushed up. Got the walls pretty much halfway down on that bottom thing. And then the roof is coming right along on the actual depot garage sort of thing. Looks like the slabs are all set. So let's get those babies plopped down. What? What are we looking at? Oh, migrants have arrived. Oh, shit. Okay, so there's a, a drake or a duck carcass coming after these new arrivals here. Oh, my God. Here we go. I gotta get all this shit squared away. Dire. Armorer. Traitor. Stoneworker. Weaponsmith. Mechanic. Discord. Oh, my God. There are a ton of guys. I think we're all set with our professions at the moment. We have many, many of our, uh, you know, the kinds that we need. So I'm, I'm not really too worried about it right now. You guys can just uh, come on in. Yeah, come on in. Ooh, another pig. Sweet. Looking pretty good. Almost done with all of the roofs. Two female pigs. It's not going to do us any good. Here comes the final touches. And done. Okay, there you have it, folks. Tunnel 2. 100% completed. Alright, so let's just go down the list here and see what we've accomplished this episode exactly. We started off with our nice memorial hall here, and that should keep us well stated for quite some time, I would imagine. We have our offices. Four offices right here on the kitchen level. I still have some final touches I gotta add in there, but, you know, they're there. They're in place. We'll finish up the other details next episode, probably. We have our temples. Six dwarven temples made with nice little statues in place, and we have completed two of our tunnels. With trade depots so we can actually do some trading now when the dwarves come to to trade and now that i'm saying all this here i am remembering that i have not yet constructed anything to trade the dwarves when they do come and that kind of sucks but we still have plenty of time we could work something out i'm not too worried about that we had some close calls this episode not too close though we also learned that we can beat apart a lot of zombies with bare fists alone so yeah i'm starting to get our confidence up the fortress is really coming together and i hope you'll join me next time youtube when we continue our adventure here in uh what the hell is this place called delercholid steel clutches the bloody fortress of conquerors and until next time youtube